Hey guys, I know I was acting a little bit weird on this channel recently, so I decided to re-up my Zoomer haircut and get jacked to recommit to normalcy. It's time to go back to what we do best on this channel, categorizing and mocking the mentally ill. Following the groundbreaking study of fetishes on the political compass, I next pitched the idea of mapping mental illnesses onto the political compass to my newfound research partner, Ayella. And the study went, uh, well, uh, this is what we got. This is a study of 13,000 men mapping their mental illnesses onto a political compass. I did a call with her to discuss these findings, and uh, I'll intersperse our conversation throughout the video. Side note, last time we talked, I was obviously very mentally ill, but ever since I've become normal, uh, she seems to have noticed. Check this out. I feel like you're more uh, socially fluid than last time, but I might not be remembering last time well. Uh, I don't think either of us were expecting all of the mental illnesses to be in lib left. Here's Ayala's hypothesis for why that might be. I think I like predicted that depression and anxiety would be very left, because they talk about it a lot. But I also was surprised that some, all of them basically arrived on the left. And again, like, I'm not saying that, I don't think this is necessarily, although it might be, a reflection that left people have more mental illnesses, but rather they're more likely to report them. Yeah. Like I think like having mental illnesses is more glorified. You get greater social status by having them in the left sphere versus the right. I was I was trying to change that on my channel here, you know, make, make the right wingers more openly pro mental illness. Like, yes, I have schizophrenia and it's based. Yeah, that's right. This, this study's filled with shockers. Right wingers are less likely to identify as having mental illness. Being on the right is correlated with like just thinking that all of this is fake. Maybe if you go farther, I don't know, maybe if you go farther right, you're like, it's real and we should kill them. But uh... it could be that they actually do have greater mental illnesses. Like, I think there's maybe an argument to be made for that. Like mm. there's a lot of like, pretty good arguments that um, like cultural instantiation of illnesses like creates those illnesses. Okay. Like uh, there's been some good arguments recently, like anorexia just wasn't a thing in Japan until you know, the U.S. introduced it and then everybody started like becoming anorexic. Right. Um, and so if if this theory is true to some degree, like my guess is that the left actually does, in fact, have greater mental illnesses because there's far more like introduced and like this is corresponding to actually an increase in experiencing those symptoms. And I'm extremely credulous and don't have the dopamine to fact check it. The results also skew very similarly to our fetish political compass, right? The uh, right wing uh, the answers are typically in off-right, the left-wing answers are typically in lib-left, except to such a degree that there's literally nothing in off-left or lib-right. This is basically a one-dimensional spectrum. Off-right and lib-left are correlated with each other heavily. It's like if a, if a user selects that they're like very uh, uh, authoritarian on the spectrum, they are also much more likely to, to select being right. Okay, so the darker a node is, the more correlated it is with other mental illnesses. So for example, if you have PTSD, it's a dark node because you're more likely to have other mental illnesses checked if you click that you have PTSD. You'll notice that on top of being the furthest right mental illness, sociopathy is also correlated with having no other mental illnesses associated with it, which is to say, if you're a sociopath, you probably don't identify as having depression or anxiety. Again, huge shocker, nothing but, sh nothing but shockers in this study, huh? The recipients came from Discord, Reddit, Twitter, Fet life and father recipients skewed actually very liberal. So yeah, this is what we got. I gave a longer list of mental illnesses than this. It would have been really great to see like what cyclothemia was like or what dysthemia was like. Or have more personality disorders in there or just call sociopathy antisocial personality disorder, you know? Oh, also correlation was very small. R was 0 0.13, which is basically nothing. It's like 1%. 1% act more accurately. You can predict that like a right-wing person will be a sociopath. Great, very good job. Very, very illuminating stuff. Point a new term called stat statstrology, uh, where you uh, kind of look at the look at the data and see the see see like you're looking at stars and see all this meaning. Um, so, that's a great term. So this, like most stat stuff that you see on the internet, especially stat stuff done by YouTubers, is what you might call statstrology. It's uh, just kind of looking at looking at some data and seeing what you want to see. Is there much to it? Uh, really, probably no. 